Many people think that you have to be a superhero to solve one of these. Each turn you make, you never know if you're getting closer to or further away from a solution. So personally, I just use a bit of magic to solve it. In 1976, a Hungarian man, Erno Rubik, created the Rubik's Cube. Can everyone say Rubik? On the, on the count of three, I want everyone to say Rubik. One, two, three, Rubik! I think we can do better than that. On the count of three, I want everyone, including the parents, to say Rubik. One, two, three. Can you imagine being the first person to ever hold something as iconic as this? Something that had never even existed before? Magic gives me the opportunity to live in a very special moment with special people, just like you. So how about we create an iconic moment together? Do you think that's a good idea? Let's try that again. Do you think that's a good idea? Yes! Perfect. Now, for this, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to need a volunteer. Hold on, I'm going to throw this into the audience. Whoop! If you caught the cube, just throw it along to the person behind you, next to you, in front of you. Just pass it along, pass it along. Just throw it around, throw it around until the music stops. Just keep throwing it around, throw it around, throw it around. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Throw it, throw it, throw it. You can also throw it forward if you want. Just throw it in any direction. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. And stop. If you have the cube, would you mind joining me up on stage? There we go. You can give back the cube, thank you. There we go. Just put that right over here. There we go. Are you okay being on stage? Okay. okay. And what are, what are both of your names? Beatrice and Alice. Candice. <laughs> Sorry. Beatrice and Candice. Welcome them to the stage, everyone. Okay, so over here we have a remote. Just hold the remote and you see that big red button over there. Just point it at the screen and just press the big red button. Point at the screen, there we go. Thank you. Now, the Rubik's Cube is nostalgic for me because my dad gave me one when I was younger. It was such a happy memory that I ended up collecting a bunch of them. Big ones, small ones, so many Rubik's Cubes. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? Well, that's okay. You only have to mix them up for today. Would you mind just coming a little closer, standing right over here? Perfect. And I want you to just point to any one of the cubes. That one, there you go. And you can just mix it up however you want. Do you also want to mix up a Rubik's Cube? No? Okay. <laughs> that's okay. There you go. Is there another one you want to mix up? You can just point to any one of them. There you go. Mix, mix, mix. Perfect. Is there another one? Or are you happy? You happy? You sure? Yeah. Great. Okay, would you mind just coming a little forward? Now, is there anything that makes you nostalgic from your childhood? Perhaps superheroes? Do you like superheroes? Yeah. I need some iconic superhero music, please. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, we'll be there on the double. Uh, next one. A problem, bench Perfect. Superheroes, assemble. There we go. Now, when I was younger, I thought I was a superhero. I thought I could read minds. Your name is the Bwumslang and you're the rooster. No? Oh. Um, well, I see you have name tags. Yes, you can confirm they're all different. Yes, yes. Now, I want you all to just put them in the box right over there. You can show them off to the audience. There we go. So it's now going to be your turn to be a superhero. Does that sound like a fun idea? Perfect. There we go.
Perfect. Okay. And we'll just mix them up a little bit. And I'll just need you to reach into this box and grab any one of the name tags. Got one. Perfect. Okay. I want you to just open it up and tell everyone which one you got. Do you need help? Mario! Give back the name tag. Thank you. Mario. A great choice. Now, remember my childhood superpower where I thought I could read minds? Well, before the show, I did a little bit of preparation of my own, and I knew you were going to choose the cubes that you chose, mix them up how you mix them up, and I knew you were going to pick Mario, because you can actually stay over there. I'll just turn around my Rubik's Cube wall. It'll reveal a picture of Mario, just like the character you chose. You may go back to your seat. Thank you, thank you so, so much for joining me. Are you okay down the steps? You need a little help? You got it? Perfect. Another big round of applause, everyone. So, whenever you think something is impossible, think about Uno Rubik. Can everyone say Rubik one last time on the count of three? One, two, three, Rubik! Who created a creative revolution for a generation of young people that lasts until today? And you'll be reminded that anything is possible with the right flick of the switch in your brain. Thank you so much.